Hello everybody, this is Dr. Christopher White and in today's video, me. So why am I making this video? Well, over the past few months, I received several emails from people asking about the channel. So they've primarily wanted to know why I haven't posted any new material in quite a while and whether I plan to post any new material in the future. So let's address those two questions. So the first question, why haven't I posted any new material for quite a long time? So the last time I posted any new material was all the way back in November 2020. So yes, it's definitely been a fair while since I posted anything new. Now, the reason for this is that I suffer from a nerve condition called trigeminal neuralgia. So this is a nerve condition that means that the trigeminal nerve on one side of your face will fire uncontrollably, and this will cause the sufferer quite a lot of pain in the process. So, you know, not the best condition to have. Now, attacks of trigeminal neuralgia can be caused by a number of different stimuli, things like eating, brushing your teeth, shaving, washing your face, and speaking can cause attacks to happen. Now, for quite a long time, my condition was thankfully pretty well controlled using medication, so I didn't really have to worry. The problem is, is that towards the end of 2020 and going into 2021, my condition began to deteriorate and the medications I was using, unfortunately, began to become less and less effective. So this led to my neurologist giving me higher and higher doses of these nerve medications, which did work. But of course, when you're on a high dose of any medication, there's going to be side effects. And one of the primary side effects of these medications is tiredness. So for a good portion of 2021, uh, unfortunately, due to these very, very high doses of medication, I was not functioning you know, anywhere near peak efficiency. Now, unfortunately, towards the end of 2021, my condition began to get even worse, and even these very, very high doses of the medication were you know, proving to be quite ineffective. And so at that point, they had to take me in for surgery. So they drilled a hole in the back of my head. They had a bit of a rummage around, and eventually they managed to find the problem and hopefully touch wood. They fixed it. But, you know, I'll just have to hope for the best because unfortunately this particular surgery they did on me does have a 30% failure rate. So I'm just going to have to hope for the best in that respect. So now on to the second question. Will I be putting out any new content? Well, the answer to that is yes. So I plan in the future to start putting out two videos a month. And these videos are going to be on topics related to historical geology. And initially, they're going to be on topics that I select. So I'm going to go through the literature and I'm going to try and find, you know, some interesting things that I think we would all enjoy talking about. Now, after a while, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up the comment section to people so that they can also suggest uh, possible topics for future videos. Now, obviously, when that happens, there's going to have to be a couple of rules involved. The first rule, of course, is that it's going to have to be on a topic that I can you know, successfully research in about two weeks. So obviously, if you're going to ask me for a you know, super duper complicated topic, like what's the meaning of life, I'm just going to put out a video that, you know, for five seconds that says 42 or I'm not going to put out a video at all because that's just too much for me to do in you know 14 days. So that's the first thing that people are going to have to bear in mind. The other thing is that the particular topic that you would want to suggest has to be something for which I can get information. So if you're going to suggest a topic for which I can only get information from a very obscure journal, well, unfortunately, that's probably not going to happen. You have to understand I'm working on a college lecturer's salary, which isn't particularly huge. So unfortunately, I don't have the kind of free cash that would allow me to blow 30 to $60, you know, downloading a single copy of an article from a very obscure journal. So, you know, hopefully we'll be able to find topics which we can all agree on and I'll be able to use them to produce videos in the future. Now, in terms of the video formats themselves, these videos are going to remain pretty much like the ones that you've already watched. So they're going to be split you know, into uh, parts which are going to be about 20 to 30 minutes long. Um, I'm going to be adding a quick introduction at the beginning that's going to look like this. So you're going to have a little bit of me at the start, just you know, you know, sitting in front of my bookshelves, and then obviously I'll transition, transition, sorry, to the traditional uh, appearance which you're used to of a, essentially a PowerPoint presentation, which I'll obviously go through and you know discuss the topic. 
Now, um, in terms of how these PowerPoint presentations are going to be presented, I'm pretty certain you probably don't want me to change and do anything uh, particularly complicated. So I'm going to keep them pretty much the way they are. I don't really think that, you know, you need to have me in a box in the bottom left or bottom right corner, because let's face it, who really wants to see an older, overweight, less talented version of Simon Whistler? I don't think anyone needs that in their lives. So um, I'm sure people are also probably wondering, will I be monetizing these videos? And the answer is yes, I will be. So YouTube already posts adverts in front and at the end of my videos. So, you know, if they're making money, why shouldn't I get a cut of that? Now, the one thing that I'm not going to do initially is I'm not going to insert mid-roll ads. Um, what I might do in the future though, is I might insert them in a couple of videos and I might ask you people, you know, how did you feel about that? Did they spoil the experience or were you okay with it? The, the main reason being is that, you know, I do understand they are terribly annoying and that they do break up the flow of the videos. Uh, I also appreciate that a slightly disturbing number of people seem to use my videos as a sleep aid. So uh, obviously I don't want them to be disturbed as they're, you know, trying to get off to sleep by a mid-roll ad popping up with its volume cranked all the way up to 11. So, you know, for the time being, I'm going to keep away from mid-roll ads. But as I said, I think I'll probably produce a couple of videos with them in and I'll ask you to, you know, give me your opinions about whether you think they were a good or a bad idea. I can probably guess what the answer is going to be. But, you know, I figure I may as well ask. So um, what else do I need to cover? So in terms of the existing videos, they will remain unmonetized. So, you know, at the moment they, you know, they're not uh, monetized and I don't plan to monetize them in any way, shape or form in the future. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, another thing is that I'm currently working on my own textbook slash lab book for historical geology. So this means that the existing videos will eventually be updated to my new plan for my course. Um, however, these new videos won't be coming you know, until at least 12 months away. So there's no major changes coming in that respect, you know, in the near future. Now, there is something I do need to quickly address. Um, quick side point, please don't email my colleagues at the college. Um, a couple of my colleagues have received emails from people asking for information about me. Uh, obviously, they're not going to send you information about me. And to be honest, it made them rather uncomfortable. So I really need to ask you to please don't do that. All right. Thank you for watching the video, everybody. And keep an eye out because hopefully I will have a new video out within the next two weeks. All right. Take care. Bye.